UKMT Senior Challenge 1998. Problem number 24. If x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0, what is the value of x squared plus 1 over x squared? And the choices are the following. When you see some problems like this, one way is to find the root. Find x here and replace. But the other way that is so much useful and also you can use it in harder problems. It's, you know, from assumption x squared minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So we can write x squared and take all things to the right hand side is 3x minus 1. Then by this way, you can replace x squared with 3x minus 1. This idea is so much useful and can solve many hard problems. Let's apply it here. The problem wants x squared plus 1 over x squared. So if I want to write x squared plus 1 over x squared. Now, if we replace x squared with 3x minus 1, it will be 3x minus 1 plus 1 over 3x minus 1. Now, here, I want to calculate this, so I use common denominator. It will be 3x minus 1. 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1 will be 3x minus 1 squared plus 1. Now, if I want to calculate this, I should use this identity that a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. If we apply it here, 3x squared minus 2 times 3x times 1 plus b squared, which is plus 1 squared, which is 1 over 1 all over. 3x minus 1. Now I calculate this part again. It will be 3x squared. It will be 9x squared by power rule. 3 squared x squared minus 2 times 3x times 1, which is minus 6x plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 over 3x minus 1. Now Again, we have x squared. We use this equality here again. Okay, I've moved to this part. Let's replace. We replace x squared with 3x minus 1. So x squared with 3x minus 1 minus 6x plus 2 all over 3x minus 1. Now, if we expand and multiply and simplify, 9 times 3, 27x. 9 times negative 1 minus 9 minus 6x plus 2 all over 3x minus 1. So if I want to calculate this, let's write 27x minus 6x will be 21x and the other terms minus 2 here we have minus 9 plus 2 minus 9 plus 2 will be negative 7 so i write negative 7 here all over 3x minus 1 now uh, in the numerator we can factor from 7 it will be 3x minus 1 all over 3x minus 1. And we can cancel 3x minus 1. It's not 0. Also, it was in the denominator. Because if it is 0, x is 0. In the assumption, we will see we have x in the denominator. So, here, we can cancel these two terms. This part, we cancel with this part. It will be 7. So the answer is 7. Okay, we can call this one as solution number 1. Let's in solution number 2, 
calculate x exactly is what and then from here find the root x is what and then replace here to see can we reach again 7 and compare two solutions here it is quadratic formula and we want to solve this with solution number two if we want to use quadratic formula the formula is this ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero and x will be negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a in our example here a is one coefficient of x squared here it's one b is negative three and c constant term is one so b is negative three and c is one so if i want to calculate x will be negative b plus minus b squared negative three squared minus four ac all over two a which is two times one if we simplify it will be negative negative three three plus minus square root of negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4 over 2 times 1 is 2 so it is 3 plus minus square root of 5 all over 2 now for finding x squared plus 1 over x squared i consider for example if x is for example 3 plus root 5 all over to. I calculate this and you will see also if you replace consider minus here the answer will be same I will show you because I want to calculate this and here I know x so I should mo raise to the power of 2 to reach x squared it will be 3 plus root 5 over 2 squared by power rule i know a over b squared is a squared over b squared so here it will be 3 plus root 5 squared all over 2 squared now this part is a plus b squared the formula is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so if i calculate it will be 3 squared plus 2 times 3 times root 5 plus root 5 squared all over 2 squared which is 4 now if we calculate this 3 squared is 9 2 times 3 6 6 root 5 plus root 5 squared is 5 all over 4 and it is equal to 9 plus 5 14 plus 6 root 5 all over 4 if we divide by 2 both numerator and denominator it will be 7 plus 3 root 5 over 2 so it is x squared now i want to calculate x squared plus 1 over x squared so i replace x squared here with the formula we've calculated 7 plus 3 root 5 over 2 i replace x squared with these Turn. Okay, so let's replace first one seven plus three root five all over two plus one over seven plus three root five all over two. So I write first one seven plus three root five all over two plus if we multiply both numerator and denominator here by two, it will be two over seven plus 3 root 5 <laughs> now here i have a square in denominator and we don't like most of the time in many problems they say we call it rationalize rationalize means get rid of this square root in the denominator uh, let me show you the idea is what for get rid of this because it is a square root we should use this identity a plus b times a minus b equal to a squared minus b squared 
So if I multiply this by 7 minus 3 root 5, here we have plus, we change it to minus, also 7 minus 3 root 5. So this fraction is 1, so it has no effect when we multiply. So we can do this. Okay, so let's calculate. The first term is 7 plus 3 root 5 all over 2. The next one is 2 times this, which will be 2 times 7 minus 3 root 5. The denominator, we use this identity. It will be 7 squared minus 3 root 5 squared. Okay, we've moved to this part, the fraction. So first fraction is 7 plus 3 root 5 over 2. The next one is 2 times 7 minus 3 root 5 all over 7 squared is 49. And minus 3 root 5 squared will be 3 squared, 9 times root 5 squared, 5, which is 45. And we will see it is 4. So we can simplify. And we can say, okay, let's divide both numerator and denominator by 2. It will be 2. So if I write, it will be 7 plus 3 root 5 all over 2 plus 7 minus 3 root 5, again, all over 2. Now, if we add these two fractions, 3 root 5 minus 3 root 5 will be canceled. It will be 7 plus 7, 14, over 2, which is 7. If we use for x, 3 minus root 5, here minus change to plus, and this one will be minus. Again, they will be canceled because here it changed to minus. This one will change to plus, minus. Instead of plus and minus, it will, will be minus and plus. They will be again canceled. And 14 over 2, which is 7. So in my previous solution also, we had what? 7. So in both cases, both solutions, we've reached 7. But this solution, solution number 1, can also solve harder problems. There are around 40, 50 ideas in each topic. Uh, geometry, number theory, combinatorics, and algebra. If you want to learn them, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. They are useful from basic level up to international level. IMO, you can use my other playlist, IMO playlist, BMO for British, IMO for international, also AMC problems, AMI problems to improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.